Right, hello everyone. At short date and learning objective, please. Okay, pause the video while you do that on your, on your bit of paper. Um, and then we'll uh, get on with the lesson after you've done that. Okay, so pause it, press play when you're done. Right, so we're carrying on, carrying on from uh, the previous lesson. Okay, so carrying on from the previous lesson on solving equations. We're going to go two-step equations this time. So let's just have a very quick reminder. So we did things like x plus 47 is equal to 63. So just slightly bigger numbers than we're used to. So remembering we want to get x on this side, don't we, of the equation. So we're using the balance method. And when using the balance method, that means we have to get rid of this plus 47 if I want to be left with x. So I'm going to take 47 away. Balance method says I also have to take uh, 47 away from this side of the equation. Okay. So now I've got 63 take away 47. Okay. I'm just going to do a quick method. 63 take away 47. Okay. Can't do that. Okay. So that leaves me with a 6. 16. Let me just check. 50 sec, 47, 57. Yep, yeah, 16. X is equal to 16. So there's just a quick reminder there. And the other type there, wasn't it? The other type was when um, one of the other types. So say we've got 5X is equal to 355. And we have to find the value of X. <clears throat> Again, we have to find the value of X down here. So I've got to get rid of this 5 times x, because remember it's the invisible time sign. So because then I'm going to divide it by 5, isn't it? Because 5x divided by 5 is x. It's the balance method, so I do the same on the other side. 355 divided by 5. Oh, hang on. Let's do that. Okay, just to check. So not carry the 3, 7, 1. So it becomes... Uh, 71 okay x is equal to 71 right so we're going to move on from that that's the one step so we're going to move on to two step questions now so we'll get a questions like this so 2m plus 5 is equal to 11 now actually all we're doing is putting those two methods that we've just shown together okay the same rules apply I want to be left with m down the bottom okay m down the bottom on the on this side of the equation okay just like we did yesterday um, so the first thing I want to get rid of is this plus 5 okay and to do that I'm gonna go minus 5 and then I'm gonna do because it's the balance method I'm gonna do the same on both sides to balance it up okay so what I'm left with now is 2m so I've got rid of this because 5 uh, 5 minus 5 is 0, so that leaves me with 2m, and then I'm going to take away the uh, take away the 5 there, which gives me 6. Okay, now I've got 2m here, and I want to be left with m. This is 2 times m, so I'm going to divide by 2. It's the balance method, so I divide the other side by 2. Okay, so 2m divided by 2 leaves me with that m, and then 6 divided by 2 is 3 so the value of m is 3 okay hope that's clear we're just doing the two things that we've did last time we're putting them together so it's a two-step uh, equation and let's just check 2 times 3 is 6 plus 5 is 11 yeah okay and these become harder to work out in our head this is why we need the methods some of them you can still work out in your head but uh, as they get trickier uh, you won't be able to. Okay, this is why we must use this method. 40 minus 3 is equal to 21. Okay, so again, uh, same method applies. I want to be left with just t equals down here. Okay, so first thing I want to get rid of is this minus 3. I'm going to add 3 to it. Do the same on the other side because it's the, it's the balance method so that means minus 3 plus 3 is 0 so that is with 4t there 21 plus 3 is 24 
Now I'm left with 4t equals 24, but I still want to get down just to t. So again, this is 4 times t, so I divide that by 4 to give me t, and I'm going to divide that by 4. How many 4s in? 24, 6, t equals 6. Let's have a look. 4 times 6 is 24, take away 3 is 21. Yes, that's correct. Okay. One more, and then you can have a go yourselves, okay? Um, in fact, could we please write this one down? Okay, could you copy that one down so you've got an example? So we've got that as our initial one. We're adding the threes. So just pause the video briefly while you copy that one down as your example, please. Okay, uh, press play when you're done. Right, remember, you can pause and rewind anything you're not sure of in these videos. Go back and check it again. Let's have a look at this question. Okay, so 50 is equal to 5h plus 5. Okay, now if you remember these from last time, okay, uh, the um, the letter is the other side of the uh, of, of other side of the equal sign. Okay, now I can still work it out from that side if I want to but I prefer to personally I think it's easy especially when we're first doing these just to swap them over and that is exactly the same okay so swap it over if you need to okay just swap it either side okay and again the same rules apply this is a plus five I'm going to take five away from it so um, means I have to do the same to the other side of the equation okay that leaves me with uh, so now uh, Positive 5 minus 5 uh, leaves me with nothing. So I've got 5h on this side. 50 take away 5 is 45. And then I do the same. I'm going to divide by 5. Divide by 5 to give me h. The value of h. Okay. And that will leave me with 9. That will leave me with 9. Okay, if you do need a little bit more uh, practice on this, just go back and have another look at that, okay? Can you please have a go at these questions? <clears throat> you write out the question first. You set them up as I've set them up, please, uh, in all my examples. You don't do it any other way, okay? Don't jump ahead. Don't work it out without working, do, using the full method, please, okay? Uh, pause the video. Get these ones done, okay? And then we'll very quickly go through them, okay? <clears throat> right, okay, good. Hopefully those are all completed, okay? So remember, uh, let's have a quick go at these. So remember, because we're plus five here, I'm gonna take five away, okay? I have to do the same there, okay? So that should leave me with three P is equal to 12, I'm dividing that by 3, dividing that by 3, P equals 4, okay? Next one, okay, mark these as you're going along, please. Could you mark them, okay? So 3K plus 10 is 70. Again, I'm going to take away 10 here because I want to get rid of this positive 10, so I'm going to take 10 away from it. I have to do the same on the other side, okay? That leaves me with 3k is equal to 70. Take away 10 is 60. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to divide this 3, 3k by 3 just to leave me with k. Because that's what I want to be left with. Divide by 3. How many 3 is in 60? That's 20. Okay. So k equals 20 is the answer you should have. Um, this next one, I'm just going to straight away, I can see... Uh, they're the wrong way around, so I'm going to straight away swap around. 10 plus 4w equals 46. Okay, I want to get rid of this is a positive 10 because there's no sign there. So I'm going to take 10 away. Okay, take 10 away. I haven't got any minuses on these ones actually. Take 10 away. Okay, on both. Uh, that leaves me with uh, 4w on this side. And 46 take away 10 is 36. Okay, I want to get rid of the 4. Okay, four, it's 4 times. So W, so I'm going to divide that by 4. The same on this side. That leaves me with W. Okay, 
Okay, and that will leave me with nine. Okay, and last one. Okay, last one. So again, I've got a positive two here. So I'm gonna. T I want to get rid of that positive two because I'll. So I'm gonna take two away. So I need to do the same on the other side because it's the balance method. Okay, uh, that leaves me with three a. Is equal to equal to eighteen. Oops. Divide by three. Divide by three. A is equal to six. Right. Hopefully you're okay with those. Okay. Uh, if you're not too sure, go back, rewatch the rewatch parts of the video, and have a go at them again. Okay. Or you can contact me. But I mean, it's sometimes all I'm going to do if, is, is show you the same thing anyway. So go back and have a little look at those. Right. Uh, now we can move on a little bit and do some stuff on negative numbers. Okay, negative numbers. Now, if we look at this one, minus 4g is equal to 12. Now, the same rules apply here with the negative numbers. I want to be end up with g equals, isn't it? Okay, but if I divide this by, if I divide this by 4, and I divide that by 4, I've got minus 4 divided by 4 and a negative divided by a positive would give me a negative g and I don't want a negative g here okay I want a positive g so if I have got a negative number like this I have to uh, I have to divide it also by a negative number so I'm dividing that by negative 4 okay that means it's the balance method. I also divide this one by negative 4. So now I've got minus 4g divided by minus 4 will give me a positive. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. Remember, if the signs are the same, it's always a positive. If the signs are different, it's a negative. So then I've got 12 divided by minus 4. A positive divided by a negative will always give me a negative. And how many fours are in 12? Three. So the, the answer to this one is minus three. So all I have to do is make sure I divide by a negative by a negative. Okay, when I'm deal, getting rid of the uh, uh, the value with the uh, letter. Okay, let's have a look at one more. Uh, P divided by two will give me uh, 10 okay p divided by 2 will give me 10 so here again I've got a if I times this okay I'll need to times this by 2 times it by 2 you know but then I've got a positive divided by a negative so I'm gonna have to times it by minus 2 okay I have to make them both negative times by minus 2. Then I have to do the same on this side, okay, times by minus 2. Um, now, now that I have times it by minus 2, so minus 2p divided by minus 2 will give me a positive, okay, will give me a positive. So that will give me p, okay. And then 10 times minus 2, a positive, and a negative gives me a negative, minus 2. 20 p is minus 20. I'll just do very quickly one more because otherwise the video is going to go on forever. Um, minus 5a equals 45. So okay. I know I'm going to have to divide minus 5a by minus 5 because that will give me a positive a. Yeah. Because I've done a negative on this side, I have to divide this one also by a negative. Okay. Uh, how many mine? Uh, so, and, and this is a positive divided by a negative. It will give me a negative answer. How many fives are in 45? Nine. Minus nine. Okay. Could you copy this one down, please? Copy that question down to show you have to, uh, what, what you have to do. Okay. And then uh, when you finish copying that down, could you have a go, please? Just at these two questions, okay? These two questions, okay? So when you come to do them, can you set them up like that, okay? Pause the video if you need to, just to copy that one down. And have a go at those, please. Have a go at those. Pause the video 
and I'll very quickly go through them. Right, let's have a quick look. So we've got minus 3x is equal to 15. Now, therefore, I need to divide that by minus 3, don't I, to give me a positive x, to give me a positive x down here. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. Divide by minus 3. But 15 divided by minus 3 will give me a negative answer. How many 3s are in 15? 5. So x is minus 5. Let's have a look on the question number two. Okay, so again, this is a um, this is a negative four. So I have to times this also by times by a negative four. So what I have to do up here, because then this becomes minus four a divided by four, which will give me a. Okay, because I've times it by negative four on this side. I have to times by negative four. Uh, on that side. Four, six times minus four is going to give me a minus number and six fours are 24. So a is equal to minus 24. Right, okay. So then again, what we can do, we can put them sort of all together. So I'm just going to do, how would I fit out here? I'll just do one question here where we kind of put them all together and then you can have a go at some yourself. So here, We've got minus 2a, minus 2a plus 7 equals 25, okay? So the first thing I'm getting rid of now, again, I want to be left with a positive a down the bottom here, okay? Positive a equals, so I'm going to get rid of this 7 first. That's the first thing I'm going to get rid of is the 7. So I'm going to minus 7 from that, okay? So minus 7 there, okay? And up to both sides. So that will leave me with, because it's the balance method, I lose minus 2a is equal to 18, okay? Now, I want to get rid of this 2a, the 2 there, and the minus, actually. So what I'm going to do now, I have to divide this by minus 2, and divide that, I have to do the same on this side, divide by minus 2. So therefore, minus 2a divided by 2 does give me an a, because a negative divided by negative gives me positive. And then 18 divided by minus 2 gives me minus 9. Okay, minus 9. I'm just going to do one more of those, one more. Okay, so if we've got 12, take away 3x, equals 30 okay so again same rules apply I want to end up with just x equals down the bottom so first thing I want to do is get rid of this 12 so I'm going to add 12 to that therefore so I'm not I'm going to take out 12 away because it's a positive 12 this is a positive 12 so I'm going to take 12 away do the same on the other side take 12 away okay that then leaves me I have to bring down this minus 3x this is a minus 3x remember okay so that gets rid of these it leaves me with minus 3x equals 30 take away 12 is 18 okay now I need to get rid of this minus 3x and I want to be left with a positive number so I'm going to divide by minus 3 because it's the balance method, I do the same on the other side to balance up the equation. Okay, minus 3x divided by 3 gives me x. 18 divided by minus 3, and I was going to give me a negative number. How many 3s are in 18? 6. x is equal to minus 6. Right, hopefully that's okay. Now, have a go at these. Okay, don't worry if we run out of time at the end of the lesson, but see how far you can get with them, please. Okay. Um, just using what we've been taught today, because now we are doing two-step uh, equations with negative numbers. So already we're, you know, so we're moving on quite well with it all really quite quickly. All right. Okay. Uh, pause the video. Have a go at that. Remember, uh, I will be on. Uh, I'll, I'll still be on on Teams during uh, when you were doing these workings out. Okay. So if you do need to ask anything, ask. 
All right. Okay. Bye. Good luck with that. Bye.